is Paul. Um, I'd like to welcome you to another short video about Google Chrome extensions that are very useful. Okay, um, this particular extension is for graphics and image downloads. So if we look at the BBC website here, which I've just taken as an example, there are lots of images and graphics and things that are very interesting, and some of which I might like to make use of. Now, the thing I have to say here is you obviously need to be very careful about copywriting and not stealing content, stealing images, stealing photos that you don't have the right to use. Um, there are plenty of images out there on the internet that are royalty free. Some of them are like stock photos you have to pay for. Um, so it's just a word of caution, just make sure that if you take an image from somewhere that you do have the right to use it in some fashion. Okay, so as I say, lots of images on this web page. Up here, Image Assistant, that's the button for the extension that I'm talking about today. So I'm gonna click that, you can see what happens. Extract current page. So what it's done is it's found all the images including little icons, logos, that kind of thing, everything that's of a graphics nature on that web page, and it's presented it to me here. So what I can do is I can select all of those if I wanted. I can download them. Now, I'll create a folder in my downloads folder so that I can distinguish them from all the other files that I've already got in my downloads folder so it doesn't get in a complete mess. So click Continue. So it's going to take a little while to download all those images, as we can see at the bottom down here. Right, let's go into my folder here. So somewhere here, BBC, it might be that one. Let's have a look. So there we are. All those images have been downloaded, which is very handy. Um, just gonna scroll through some of them, let's have a look. There we go. So all those images have now been downloaded to my PC and I can now do something with them if I wish, edit them, use them again, subject to contracts with royalties and copywriting, that kind of thing. Um, but it's a very, very handy utility. There's lots of options. Um, I won't go into the full details of all of those options now because you can explore those for yourself. One word of caution, I would make sure that in your Chrome browser, under settings, it's gonna to go to download, D-O-W-N, because I can't remember exactly where it is, download. So it's really important that you have this set to off because if you have it on, you're gonna get prompt, you know, if you're downloading 20 or 30 files, you're gonna get 20 or 30 prompts saying, where do you wanna store this? Where do you wanna store it? And your whole screen will fill up with dialog boxes. It'll just clutter everything up and it will just grind to a halt. So make sure that's switched off first before you use that tool. So we're gonna close that now. Um, there are lots of options here. So you can filter the page by image size, image type like JPEGs only, pings only, um, scalable vector graphics, SVG, um, size, width, all kinds of criteria that you can filter the images by if you wish. Um, there's lots of options. Um, I've never really played around with all the options here, but for example, um, let's click on that one. You can do send to image editor. So there's an editor built in here. Look at this, amazing. Lots of really cool features that you can use. I've never tried this out myself, but it's there if you wanna have a play around. Um, let's go back in, let's right click again. Again, you can save an image directly. Now, this is something you can do from standard um, Chrome functionality anyway. But let's right click again, delete invisible, keep selected. Lots of other options here that you should be aware of. So anyway, Image Assistant, I'll put the URL to the Chrome Store um, extension URL so that you can download it and install it into your browser if you wish. But hopefully you found that really useful. I use it a lot, really, really helpful plugin. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching.